The Maryland state government and health officials are on the lookout for cases of coronavirus. Three people are being tested, but there are no confirmed cases here in Maryland, but precautions are being taken. WJZ is live. Pat Warren has the latest on an outbreak of the flu. Pat. That's right. 82 people were sickened on a cruise ship that returned to Baltimore. They were diagnosed with the flu, but none met the criteria for coronavirus. 82 people on the Royal Caribbean grandeur of the seas had to be isolated in a flu outbreak. Royal Caribbean has issued a statement saying that on the February 8th through 20th voyage of grandeur of the seas, medical staff notified the CDC that an elevated number of guests and crew had flu-like illness or tested positive for influenza A or B and were placed in isolation according to medical protocol. The CDC did not request coronavirus tests for any of those cases. There is no uh, immediate public health emergency here in Maryland. Governor Hogan is assuring Marylanders Based that all resources are in place in the event of a public health emergency. Including the flu type A and B, which is what most people would call the normal flu, um, which has already resulted in the hospital hospitalization of 3,000 Marylanders and which has already taken 40 Maryland lives uh, just during this current flu season. The public is urged to take precautions and that includes getting a flu shot. It's not too late one last time to get a flu shot. I will tell you that we have many people who present in urgent care clinics, in doctor's offices, in emergency rooms with flu-like symptoms, and they have the flu. They, we have tested them and they have the flu. So this is still uh, a period in Maryland where influenza is widespread, very, very active. At the same time, three people in Maryland are being tested for coronavirus, but no confirmed cases. Governor Hogan says the state will continue to give regular updates on these public health issues. I'm Pat Warren reporting live for WJZ.